Because the Earth rotates, there is a 24-hour periodicity to the environmental conditions that we experience. As a consequence, most biological organisms have developed an internal timekeeper to allow them to keep track of 24 hours. And then that way it allows the organisms to synchronize their behavior with this 24-hour periodicity and oftentimes even anticipate changes before they happen. And so we are interested in understanding how plants use this internal timekeeper, the circadian clock, to improve their defense against pests like insects. Plants appear to be very passive. So just looking at them, they look like they're just sitting there not doing anything, but actually they're extremely responsive to their environment because they have this internal clock, the circadian clock. And they can use that information to anticipate when insects are going to attack them, when the insects will start feeding on them. And they have a hormone system that turns on responses in the plant that the plant generates, accumulates a number of anti-herbivore metabolites, so they make chemicals that make the herbivores sick. So when these uh, levels of hormones, they go up at this particular time of day, it's preparing the plant to activate all the defense genes that are regulated by jasminates to defend itself against these uh, insect herbivores that would like to feed on it during this time of day. This set of plants, the circadian clock has not been altered and the loopers have not eaten these plants. Where this set of plants, the circadian clock has been altered so that the defense is down and the looper caterpillars have demolished the plants. So you can see that the loopers are actually, at least that one that just jumped, is now feeding on the leaves because their defenses are down, right? So the plants, circadian clock is down so these loopers feel free to eat without getting sick. Well these plants have their circadian clock defenses up so the loopers if they ate these plants would get sick so they stay away from these plants. It's really brand new insight into something that we didn't know plants were doing. We knew the clock controls many different kinds of genes and many different kinds of metabolites but to understand that the the two major hormones involved in defense that are significantly regulated by the clock is brand new insight into the importance of the clock in plant defense. <laughs>